What's up fam, it's your mundane audio head. I'm back to talk about the ROG Strix G17 from Asus, which in fact it just came out this past October and is definitely fit for running DAWs that require a lot of power. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the rigid design base for the chassis for, for this laptop. So obviously you have the keyboard that's closer towards the screen there and the five inch big gap that's right under it where the trackpad is located. To be honest with you, the space that is under the keyboard should be a little bit more in better use, but um, obviously you, know, you, you would be able to rest your hands there, but it does put a small dent on your wrist. I think it sh there should be a, a, a little bit more design or layout to be well thought out with these particular keyboards but we're not really complaining as far as like the overall appearance of it. Now when you do rest your hands on the keyboards, obviously it's sturdy, it's not flimsy in design, but the keyboard keys themselves do kind of pop out or like jump out a little bit when you're actually pressing your fingers on it. So it needs a little bit, it needs a little bit more foundation to keep it from blowing out a certain way, I guess you can say. So what I mean by that is, is that it doesn't, it doesn't have that flimsy where that flimsiness where it can easily like fall apart or bend a certain way and then you have to you know go out and go out to a retail or something like that and actually get that fixed. All right, the next part is the backlit design. So on the keyboard itself, you can see all the lights that are under the keys that are fabulously lit up, and each and every one of the keys are lit up with would lit up with all kinds of LED colors. So if you're definitely a LED fan, this laptop is definitely for you. So it's not just the keys on top, there's also the backlit LED that's on the bottom as well. So fans like myself that kind of like LEDs and like likes to have a two-tone system kind of a deal, you know, this is definitely something I would definitely buy just for the aesthetics of it. Now on the, next to the mouse pad, you can see where it says the Asus ROG, which is the Republic of Gamers ROG. I believe that's actually a unique design. You know, if you think about the the Need for Speed Most Wanted or Need for Speed Underground has that, that kind of a font that's like slanted or diagonal. I that was actually kind of cool. Now moving on to the the screen size, this screen is actually 17 inches, which should say 17.3 inches. So 17 inches and some change. This is a big screen for a laptop, or relatively big screen for laptops in this size. Most laptops are going for 15.6. So the bigger the screen and the, the more space, or should I say the more real estate and screen space that you have. This is definitely worth it when you're working on not just games or um, office stuff, but if, when you're working on amusing things like that, definitely real estate uh, helps. It also has a 1080p matte display, so you don't have that the glare every time you, you look into it. Like if you had like you know a bunch of lights that are staring into the laptop, you have the matte display to offset those lights and the luminance and things like that so it doesn't stare back in your face. Now unlike all the previous laptops that Asus and other brands have made in the past where you can see some of the, the pixels and things like that, this spe specific display is full HD 1080p, uh, 1920 by 1080. So what that means is, is that everything that you see on the, on the screen, much like Sony televisions, is high definition. So you don't see any sort of pixelated frames. And because the f frame refresh rate is pretty high, everything is seamless and is pretty smooth to the, uh, to the naked eye. Next is the features. Now, this particular laptop, unlike other laptops, doesn't have as many features as it would have like the SD card reader and things like that, but it does have three USB lightning fast ports, a headphone jack on the left side, an ethernet jack, an HDMI jack, and a USB-C on the back side. However, it does not have a SD card to where you can actually uninstall, uh, in, not uninstall, pull in media from an SD card. So if you like working with cameras and things like that, this would not be the laptop for that when you're pulling stuff off the camera. But if you have like a flash drive, then you would have to use another computer or something like that to import pictures on and then basically take that 
it's kind of like a four or five step process, but this was basically done for a gaming computer, but since you're doing music, you might not need all that, just a, a USB flash drive. On the right side, it doesn't really have anything, which I'm actually kind of disappointed at, mainly due to the fact because both sides of normal laptop computers usually has some sort of port or jack on it. So it was kind of surprising that it didn't have that stuff on the right side. So it wasn't kind of well thought out as far as like putting this computer, the fact that there should be some more jacks on the right side to use, but you know, there's not really much you can do about it, it's Asus. Now, as far as this performance goes, the RAM, which is that random access memory, it has 16 megs worth of upgradable RAM all the way up to 128 uh, megabytes worth of RAM. So you have a lot of space to be able to process memory with. In addition to that, the storage is also a solid state drive, which goes up to two terabytes. But this one is uh, 512, which is also upgradable. So the higher, the, the more that you pay, the more storage that you get. So 512, a terabyte, two terabytes, depending on how much you spend on the laptop, you can get more upgradable storage. It also includes Windows 10. Normally it's either home or professional, and it's usually 64 bit. Plus the display is also anti-glare and widescreen. As I said before, it cuts down on any sort of glare or any other sort of luminous slide that may have that that may bounce right off the screen the processor which is the cpu is also upgradable it goes from i5 to i7 to an i9 and the the speed of which it can go can go from 2.6 all the way to 5. in reference uh, 2 is basically standard for like for regular business computers 3 is performance and anything above that which is like 4 and above is basically gaming i recommend 3 and above if you're running very powerful uh, DAWs, or if you're running DAWs that require a lot of power and performance, and you're running a whole whole bunch of complex tracks and sound design and things like that, the more stuff that you have, the powerful that your your computer must be to handle that. So you can go from three to four to five gigahertz, which is basically the speed of it. You go from i7 or sorry i5 to i7 to i9 uh, as far as the processor goes so depending on how much power that you need i usually have powerhouse laptops on computers so the more the more money i spend the more power that i get which i'm totally fine with and then on top of that you have the intelligent cooling to mitigate all that power which it has a liquid metal compound to basically cut down on all the noise levels that happens inside the laptop it doesn't necessarily matter how much power that you're running it still mitigates it Itself to where it can take out all the heating and that way the fans that are running inside the laptop can take away take away the heat that gets generated on the CPU. Now Asus as a brand is priding itself as a number one performance company company in computers as well as a gaming company. So it was one of the first in the few companies after Alienware to be able to create decent performing laptops for gamers as well as uh, musicians. Now, when you're running DAWs, you do need a lot of power to be able to run music programs. So if you're heavy into sound design or if you're using or you're playing dubstep or house music or anything like that you would need a lot of power to be able to process the sound design be able to process a lot of tracks and be able to render it a certain way so it doesn't basically crap out on you now with aces aces recognized all that so it basically tunes laptops even though it comes at a higher price to be able to accommodate accommodate powerhouse gaming and uh, musician work. In addition to that, it also makes monitors and perifer other peripherals for gamers, which is also heavily modified. With all that stuff and the LEDs and things like that, Asus is definitely a competition company towards Logitech and Alienware and all that other stuff, of that of which gamers are really after as far as performance goes. Now, this particular laptop, which is a Strix G17, this laptop is basically a, a record. Uh, this this laptop is a uh, recommended laptop that I would definitely use. It's sleek design and its performance and the features are definitely something I would consider having, even though it costs well over a thousand dollars to get. So, if you're a musician or you're a gamer or somebody that does filmmaking, this sort of laptop is basically or is definitely for you now if you like I can go ahead and post links into the description that way you can take a look at what the laptop is and there's many different laptop series as far as this goes it goes from $1,100 all the way up to $2,200 
and you can range and upgrade different sizes. So you can go from 512 gigabytes all the way to a terabyte as far as storage goes. You can upgrade the RAM or downgrade the RAM depending on how much you need. That, inclu that also includes the processing, or I'm sorry, the P the the CPU and the speed of it. You can also have Windows 10 Pro for all the better access of features. And all in all, this is definitely a recommended laptop to get. But as always, only get it if you have the actual money to do it because these kind of laptops are expensive. So with that said, I definitely, rec I definitely recommend this laptop. All right, so that's pretty much it for now. If you guys have any other products that you would like for me to display on this channel, definitely hit me up. Destroy that like button, hit the share button, hit the notification notification bell and let me know. I'll definitely uh, try my best to get that onto the channel. And if you have any comments or you have any other concerns or anything like that, definitely also uh, drop something in the channel so I can uh, take a look at it. And I do also plan on getting the Mackie Big Knob um, that I plan on reviewing as well. I just hadn't had the chance to do it. That's going to be coming onto the channel as well. There are big things there that that's going to be coming onto this channel, so definitely stay tuned. So make sure that you're sub to the channel so um, you stay updated of what's going on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.